Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today and welcome to the home of FIFA career mode hints, tips and news. If you are new to my channel, I would be eternally grateful if you'd hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thanks for your continued support. And if you want daily FIFA career gems content or you just want to get in touch, then why not head over to either my Twitter or Instagram. Now one area where Pez wins hands down over FIFA is the amount of Wonder Kids that actually have a game face and these are the ones that we definitely need in FIFA 21. And first up we have Ryan Shirky who has not been added to FIFA 20 as of yet and personally I don't think he will be added till FIFA 21 but he's already in Pez 2020 with a game face. Next up is Bayern Munich striker Joshua Zirkzy who in FIFA 20 has an 84 potential. FIFA 20 exciting prospect and winner of the Premier League with Liverpool, Harvey Elliott who has a potential of 87 in FIFA 20. Now because Man United are an exclusive partner to PES 2020, every member of their squad does have a face in Pro Evo, including James Garner who has a potential 85 in FIFA 20. Now considering that Real Madrid have just signed an extension to their partnership with EA Sports, I do expect Rainer, just like his Brazilian counterparts Rodrigo and Vinicius Jr, to get a game face in FIFA 21, but in FIFA 20 he has a potential of 90. Nehuen Perez from Atletico Madrid, who is out on loan at Familicao in season number 1 of career mode, in FIFA 20 he has a potential of 84. Up there in my top 5 defenders in FIFA 20 career mode is Marash Kumbula from Hellas Verona, who in FIFA 20 is an exciting prospect with a potential of 86. And staying in Serie A and Pro Evolution Soccer recently announced that they've lost a the license for Inter Milan, but Sebastiano Esposito will still have a game face in Pez 2021. In FIFA 20 he has a potential of 87 and is an exciting prospect. The owner of a terrible generic face in FIFA 20 career mode is the Arsenal striker Eddie Nketiah, who in FIFA 20 has a potential of 85. One of the best young players in the Premier League this season has been Manchester United striker Mason Greenwood, despite his 89 potential, has a terrible generic face in FIFA 20. Exclusive pairs of partners Barcelona have a lot of real faces in their squad, including the midfielder with an 87 potential in FIFA 20, Ricky Puge. An excellent season in the Premier League for the Arsenal youngster Bukayo Saka, who just like Mason Greenwood, despite his potential of 89, has a terrible generic face in FIFA 20. But a player who does have a pretty good generic face in FIFA 20 is his Arsenal teammate Gabriel Martinelli, who is an exciting prospect with a potential of 88. Another excellent youngster who's had a great season in the Premier League is Brandon Williams of Manchester United, excuse the team that he's signed for in this Master League. In FIFA 20 is an exciting prospect with a potential of 86. Next up is a player that's not been given too much of a chance at struggling Watford in the Premier League this season, and that's a Brazilian striker who's an exciting prospect in FIFA 20, João Pedro. One of my favourite players from the beta stages of FIFA 18 is a Real Betis winger Diego Lainez who deserves a potential far higher in FIFA 20 than 83. The third Arsenal youngster with a game face in Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 is Joe Willock who has a potential in FIFA 20 of 85. One of my favourite young defenders back in FIFA 19 was Alessandro Bastone of Inter Milan. In FIFA 20 he's showing great potential with an 85. Now in PES 2020 there's quite a few game faces in the Eredivisie, including one with the highest potential in FIFA 20 of 88 from PSV, Mohamed Hitarden. Now when starting a new career mode in FIFA 20, Sebastian Szymanski is a highly rated free agent with a potential of 85 simply because Dynamo Moscow aren't in FIFA 20 career mode, but in PES 2020 he has a game face. One of several Shakhtar Donetsk players with a game face in PES 2020 is a FIFA 20 exciting prospect, Manor Solomon, who has a potential of 86. The fourth Arsenal youngster with a game face in PES 2020 on this list is Reese Nelson, who in FIFA 20 has a potential that should be far higher of 83. The player that I've got in my favourite career mode in FIFA 20 with Stad René is Taker Fusa Kubo of Real Mallorca, on loan from Real Madrid. He's an exciting prospect with a potential of 87. Also in that same career mode is Eduardo Camavinga of Stad René, one of my favourite players in FIFA 20 career mode, whose potential earlier on in FIFA was far higher up at 90, but it's recently been downgraded to an 86. 
One of the best young goalkeepers in FIFA 20 career mode is Andre Lunin of Real Madrid, out on loan at Real Oviedo in season number one of career mode. Potential is an exciting prospect, 87. Again, ignore the team that he signed for in this Master League, but Schalke striker Ahmed Kutuku has a potential in FIFA 20 of 85. One of my favourite midfielders in FIFA 19 was Gedson Fernandez of Benfica, who's out on loan in season number one of career mode at Tottenham Hotspur. Potential probably deserves to be a little bit higher than 84. As well as PES 21 losing the licence for Inter Milan, they've also lost the licence of AC Milan, but that will not stop Ismail Benassia not having a game face in PES 21, but in FIFA 20, he has a potential of 84. Dejan Kulusevski, who is on loan at Parma from Piemonte Calcio in FIFA 20 career mode. But if you want to play Pez, he's actually on loan from Juventus. Exciting prospect with a potential of 86 in FIFA 20. Another Pez 2020 Eredivisie wonder kid with a game face, who has a very high potential of 88 in FIFA 20, is a striker from RZ, Myron Boadu. His game face was recently added via a data pack, and that's Dominic Sabot's life from RB Salzburg, attracting interest from a lot of top European clubs. In FIFA 20, he has a potential of 87. A quality centre-back in either Master League or in career mode from Schalke, Ozan Kabak in FIFA 20 is an exciting prospect with an 86. Another owner of a terrible generic face in FIFA 20 is the Chelsea right-back Rhys James, who in career mode has an exciting prospect potential of 87. Now, the highest potential player under 21 years of age not to have a game face in FIFA 20 career mode is the midfielder from Brescia, Sandro Tonali, who has potential to be special in career mode with 91. Again, ignoring the team that he signed for in this Master League, the Piemonte Calcio or Juventus centre-back, depending on which game you're playing, has a potential in FIFA 20 career mode of 86. One of the top young strikers in career mode for the last few editions of FIFA has been Rafael Liao, now of AC Milan. He's an exciting prospect in FIFA 20 with a potential of 86. Another player that's transferred in this Master League is the Valencia central attacking midfielder in FIFA 20 career mode, Kangin Lee, who has a potential exciting prospect of 86. Another top striker for the last few editions of FIFA career mode is Alexander Isaac of Real Sociedad, who is an exciting prospect in FIFA 20 with a potential of 86. Now, the owner of the worst generic face in FIFA 20, in my opinion, despite his potential of an exciting prospect 87, is the Bayer Leverkusen winger, Musa Diaby. One of two high potential gems with a game face in PES 2020 from Dynamo Kiev. The first one is the left back, Vitaly Michalenko. Now, given EA Sports' partnership with the Premier League, I fully expect exciting prospect in FIFA 20 career mode, Chelsea centre-back Fioko Tamore to get a game face in FIFA 21. Now, I've actually seen pictures of this guy getting his face scanned for FIFA 20, but for some reason, it's never appeared in career mode, so hopefully, Ren and Lord will get that face scan added for FIFA 21. So, just to reiterate that Barcelona are exclusive partners to Pez, so it's very unlikely that we'll see Carl Azelena with a face scan in FIFA 21, but in FIFA 20, he has a potential that should be a little bit higher than 83. Another game face that was added in the latest data pack in Pez 20 is a Leon midfielder, Bruno Guimarães, who is excellent in career mode with a potential of 87. And another Eredivisie wonder kid with a game face in Pez that is an exciting prospect of 86 in FIFA is Calvin Stengs from RZ. And yet another Eredivisie wonder kid with a game face in Pez who is an exciting prospect potential of 86 in FIFA 20, and that is a PSV striker, Doniel Malen. Now another pretty poor generic face in FIFA, but an actual pretty lifelike representation in pairs belongs to the RB Leipzig midfielder who has an 86 exciting prospect potential in FIFA 20, Christopher Nkunku. Now next up is one of the best young goalkeepers for the last few editions of FIFA career mode. He's recently transferred to RC Lons in real life, so in FIFA 21 he should be playing in Liga. And that's Walker Farines, exciting prospect potential in FIFA of 86. I've loved him in career mode for the last few editions of FIFA, but I've now watched him quite a few times live to my local club, Sheffield United. He's an exciting prospect with a potential of 87 in FIFA 20, Sander Berger. 
One of the best versatile exciting prospects in FIFA 20 career mode from Marseille is Boubacar Kamara, equally as comfortable at centre back as he is in central defensive midfield in FIFA 20 exciting prospect potential of 87. Another top quality French centre back from Sevilla is Jules Koundé who has an exciting prospect potential in FIFA 20 career mode of 86. My most enjoyable Master League so far in PES 2020 has been with Lille, one of the reasons for that is Jonathan Ikone, excellent player in Master League and career mode with a potential of 86. Equally brilliant in that Master League is the striker Victor Ossiman, who is very close in real life to joining Napoli in FIFA 20 career mode, exciting prospect with a potential of 88. Now I did a growth test with Karamoko Dembele in FIFA 20, but this guy was with the best player in that career mode, Oswan Eduard or French Eddie with a potential of 85 in career mode. My favourite midfielder in FIFA 19 was no doubt Ezekiel Palacios, who given the partnership with the Bundesliga and EA Sports surely will get a face scan in FIFA 21. In FIFA 20, his potential is an exciting prospect of 88. Been absolutely electric since his move to Dortmund, Erling Haaland with a potential of 90 in career mode, hopefully again given the partnership with the Bundesliga and EA Sports should get a face scan for FIFA 21. Another player that should definitely get a face scan in FIFA 21 given the EA Sports partnership with the Premier League is a Watford winger is Mela Sarr who is an exciting prospect in FIFA 20 with a potential of 88. My favourite goalkeeper hands down in FIFA 17 and in FIFA 18 was Alban Lafont, now of Fiorentina on loan at FC Nantes. Potential in FIFA 20 is an exciting prospect, 87. Another Eredivisie wonder kid with the game face in Pez, who is an exciting prospect with a potential of 86 in FIFA, is Lisandro Martinez from Ajax. And given the amount of players with a face from Ajax in Pez, I'm hoping that career mode favourite from FIFA 20, Mohamed Kudus, will get one in Pez 21. The second wonder kid with a game face in pairs from Dynamo Kiev is Viktor Saigankov with a potential of 86 in FIFA career mode. Another player I do expect to have a game face right from the word go in FIFA 21 given the partnership between EA and the Premier League is the Spurs winger Steven Bergwijn. Another player with a high potential of 85 in FIFA 20 career mode that doesn't have a face scan is the Fiorentina winger Federico Chiesa. And just to reiterate that Real Madrid have signed an extension to their partnership with EA Sports, so I fully expect Adon Militao, who in FIFA 20 has a potential of 88, to have a game face for FIFA 21. And by using that same theory of Real Madrid players getting a face scan for FIFA 21, I fully expect their lonely Martin Odegaard, the original FIFA career mode wonder kid, with the potential in FIFA 20 of 88, to also get a face scan in FIFA 21. But the final player is someone sadly that I don't see getting a face scan in FIFA 21, considering Barcelona's partnership with Pro Evolution Soccer, and that is one of the best wonder kids in FIFA 20 with an exciting prospect of 90, Ansu Fati. But it's been my opinion for the last few years, if EA Sports and FIFA are going to give players with the potential over 85, they really should be giving them a face scan or at least doing what Pez do and getting an artist impression. But all that remains to say is that thank you so much for watching today's video. Please remember to tune into my channel next time for more FIFA 20 career mode content. But for today, it's FCG out.